Whenever you find a principle that's held up to the test of time for 30, 40, 50 years, uh, you can start to believe that that might be a, a principle that you can follow. And when you find a principle that has kind of held up against the test of times over the last two, three, four, five hundred years, then that really seems like a principle that I'm interested in. And one of these principles that I'm really interested in is the Pareto principle. Now, most of you may not know what that is by the kind of official name, uh, but most of you will probably recognize it by the 80-20 rule. And what it means basically is most things are trivial. 80% of what you are doing is probably trivial and only 20% of what you do actually really matters. And so the game or the art or the science is finding out what is that 20% that really matters. And it, it doesn't really need to be 80-20, but what you want to hear and notice is that there's an imbalance, right? There's not a, a fairness to if you put in 100 units of energy, each one of those units of energy is going to give back the same result. In fact, 80 of those units will probably be fairly worthless, and 20 of those units of energy are going to respond or bring back a lot. And so when I learned this, I thought, well, this has to show up everywhere. It certainly shows up in my life, and so it must show up in investing. And what I want to do is talk to you about this, this imbalance, but in a way that really hits home. And I want to bring it up now because there's so much news. Always, there's always a lot of news, but there's especially a lot of news going on right now for precious metals. Though we're not actually going to talk about precious metals tonight. One of the reasons because I'm just tired of talking about it. Uh, but more than that is I have four strategies that, that make up the Fearless Wealth platform. And really only one of the four has to do with precious metals. The other three have nothing to do with it. Um, so that's just a good reminder to have a strategy diversification and not a stock diversification, though that is a divergence from my topic tonight. So my topic isn't really Pareto's principle or the 80-20 rule directly, but indirectly it is. What I want to talk about is how news follows price or how news maybe is worthless. And I didn't mean worth less. I actually mean worthless. And I want to talk about why it's worthless and why I don't watch the news, follow the news, read articles on companies because I find it doesn't help. And I'll, and I'll tell you why it doesn't help, and I'll show it to you an example. So on the screen, you see news follows price. So let's just look at this price chart here. This is a price chart of Intel. And you see a vertical line going from top to bottom, which is about December 6th of 2012. And that's when I... Uh, added that to our obvious trend strategy. But before that, you look all the way back to April. Uh, so we're looking at a pretty good amount of time. April starts with a 4, December's a 12, so that's about 8 months of Intel falling 40%. So I didn't really need to follow the news because guess, guess what happens when the price falls? It's bad news, bad news, good news, bad news, bad news, good news, good news, good news, bad news, bad news, bad news, good, 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 good. Bad news, good news, bad news, bad news, kind of good news, bad news, good news, good news, bad news, bad news, bad, 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 good, good, bad, bad, good, 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 bad, 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 good, good, bad, 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 neutral, 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 bad, 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 good, bad, 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 good, bad, good, 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 bad, 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 good, bad, 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 good, 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 bad, bad. So I went through all eight months for you. The news follows the price. If the price goes up, guess what all the newsy people are going to do? They are going to normally find a reason, find a piece of information that can explain why the price went up. And guess what? That information is going to be positive, and that will come out as positive news. That's why you don't actually need to watch or read or listen to the news. That is the part of the investment world that is a complete waste of time. It falls into that 80% of trivial information. But I think with news, instead of the 80-20 principle, I think it's more like the 98-2 principle. 98% of news, or maybe even 99% of news, is completely worthless. And then, of course, you have bad news, good news, good news, bad news, bad news, good news, good news, bad, 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 good, 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 really good, really bad, really bad, good, 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 bad, 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 good, 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 bad, 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 good, good, good. Bad, 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 good, good, bad, bad, good, 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 bad. Yes, that is actually how trivial news is. 
news follows price. If you want to write something down this week, please write that down and stop watching news shows. Now, I'm not done with this yet because news never matters until it doesn't. <laughs> so if Burgess saw this, my wife saw me do the two negatives there, uh, she probably would have to correct me. But this is actually how it sounds to me. News doesn't actually matter until it doesn't. I could have said news never matters until it does, but I really do mean until it doesn't. And so what I want to do is explain to you the only time news kind of matters, and I'm going to tell you why it, it does and doesn't. So here you see a price chart of Netflix. Now, to the left of the price chart, Netflix was about 270, 280. I don't, I don't even know what it was, but it fell 82% to the middle of 2012. 82%. You would have thought that this was going the way of Enron. And the idea of companies getting Enron are way over publicized and published, and most actually don't. But news doesn't matter until it doesn't. And what I mean by that is down here, bad news was coming out. Bad news was coming out. Bad news was coming out. It was all bad news, even though the price was going up. Here's the second thing I want you to take away from this week's market situation report. When bad news can't push the price of a stock down or an investment down, then that means everything that is bad about it out in the world is already priced into the stock, and the probability of it falling even more has just dropped precipitously. And this is the only time I actually watch or kind of listen to news is when bad news can't push down a stock anymore. That means there's only one way left for it to go. And that just happened to two stocks this week. Um, unfortunately, I can't talk about either of them. Uh, one is because I'm sending one out as a alert for people to buy. And so if you're part of the club, the membership, you will get that. But the point is that the only time news doesn't matter <laughs> is when the bad news can no longer push the stock down or good news could no longer push the stock up. Now, I'm not saying that's true with Netflix. Netflix is taking off and, you know, on an elevator up. But watch when good news, and this actually happened to Apple last year, when no matter what good news came out after the stock was up over $700, it couldn't go up anymore. That's actually the only time then that news um, doesn't matter or <laughs> that you should be paying attention to news. Hey guys, thanks so much for being here. Of course, the uh, monthly strategy gathering is going to come up on the 14th of May. Uh, I'm, I'm making it early, 6 p.m., and then after that, I'm going to make it even earlier. I have a lot more clients, not only on the East Coast, sorry, subscribers, members on the East Coast, but also over in Europe and Australia, and the later time is really tough for them. So just I want everyone to hear that I'll be moving these earlier and earlier. And of course, we're going to go over the markets. we got speed investing. That's where I, in person, in front of you, deconstruct any investment, any ticker symbols. So the key thing is for you to hear how I'm thinking, how I look at it, how I manage my um, my wrongness, how I price out my wrongness. So you can see that and hear that and notice how that compares to what you're doing. Of course, live extensive Q&A, update on the strategies, of course, uh, market x-ray. Uh, we'll look at what that's telling us about the markets, the sectors, the indices, uh, and we'll have fun, and we'll do some connecting, and I'll help you um, get connected to what you need to do. Thanks, everybody. I'm so glad you're here, and I will speak to you soon. Take care.